Hello the internet and welcome to the last review of review week. No, and this is a review of the most recent Disney movie, Wreck It Ralph. I'm gonna wreck it, or I'm gonna review it. I'm not gonna do that joke too much, hopefully. Let's first go over the story. The story is that there's this character. Uh, there's an arcade and when it shuts down all the video game it's a bit like work and when the game shuts down they just come like um end work and they go out and have fun but uh and the main main character is a bad guy and nobody likes him because he's a bad guy and he doesn't want to be the bad guy anymore so what he does is he game jumps into other games. There are three games that Ralph visits. The game that he starts in, which is called uh, Fix It Felix Jr. There's um, Heroes du Duty. <laughs> and Sugar Rush. Sugar. I'm not going to sing. And, um,. Ralph wants to get a medal because somebody said, uh, because one of the people that lives in the apartment in the in his game said, if you'll get a medal, you'll get a penthouse. So the story is him trying to get a medal. Story-wise, it's not the most original thing. Uh, it, um, story-wise, not the most original thing ever. We have seen movies, I can already, I can think of two movies right now, and they're both animated, that have a bad guy being the main character. Megamind, which I really liked, and, what was the other one? Ah, Despicable Me, which is one of my favourite animated films of all time. But, there's something about this film that just works really well. And I don't know what it is, it just, the character, I'm going to get into the characters in a little, in a little bit, but it's just an amazing, amazing story. The story isn't the best bit, but still. Now, by the trailers, you'll see a lot of video game cameos, and there's something you're going to be a bit sad about, that this isn't Cameo the movie. This isn't like, who who can we put in next? Who can we put in next? Uh, there's Bowser. Uh, there's Sonic. Mm, there's... There's Cuba. Everybody loves Cuba. So, yeah, it's it's not like that at all. But there's loads of references, mostly in the first half. In the second half, not as many. There's a lot of um, sweets references, though, or candy if you're American. Like, uh, the guards to the ma uh, main villain are kind of like Oreos, and when they uh, march, they go, Oreo. Oreo, Oreo. I love that bit. I don't know why. I just bit that bit so funny. And there's so many other great references in there. Now let's talk about the animation, or should I say, the graphics? <laughs> okay, that wasn't funny. But uh, let's actually talk about the animation. The animation is probably the best bit of this film. All the different animation styles. Every character in every game has different animation styles. Like, you see Pac-Man in the trailer, he's kind of like a whoop, whoop, he's moving about really weirdly, like he would in his game. It work. the animation works just fantastically well, and it's just amazing. Also, the kind of like the, um, character, uh, the people living in the building that, uh, in, in Fix-It Felix, they kind of like, um, they kind of like skip motions. You know, like Mario, he, in the first Mario game, he doesn't kind of like do a really fluid walk cycle. No, he kind of like goes one leg, next 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 leg. And it's not fluent at all, but it looks so great because you can tell that they're from a really, really old game. The more newer games like Sugar Rush and Hero's Duty, they just amaze it. They, they act all fluently and stuff. Even Wreck-It Ralph and Fix-It Felix have not the best 
animation ever. It's not kind of like we're we're really flexible because we're the main characters. No, they're not the worst, but I can see why because they're the only characters that do more than just help us, Felix. Ralph goes, "I'm gonna punch this building," and Felix goes, "I'm gonna fix it with my magic hammer." Magic hammer. And you can tell it, especially with Felix. I just think I can go on and on about the animation, and it's just amazing. Now to talk about the characters. These characters are very well done. Let's first talk about the main character, Ralph, or Rick. It's Ralph, ah, who is the main character of the movie. Again, he's a bad guy and he doesn't want to be a bad guy, so he game jumps and tries to get a medal. This uh, this guy goes through a lot of hard things, but he's still a great and funny character, and you re he's really likable and really, really. I I would hang out with him. I would kind of like be like, hey, just be, he, he's just a good. He could be a really good friend. Let's talk about his arch enemy in his game. Or the only person that slightly likes him in his game, Fix It Felix Jr. Fix It Felix has um, is the good guy in the game that Ralph is the bad guy in. Again, because it's called Fix. It's named after him. It's like Mario. It's like if Mario in Mario, the first Mario game, Super Mario Brothers, it was the it was Bowser and Mario was the bad guy. But yeah, he's um he's not that strong. He jumps really high, and his main um thing is that he can fix anything with his magic hammer. The hammer of magic. And yeah, he can fix anything, and it and he gets some really funny lines with the next character, Calhoun. I hope I'm saying that right. The main, well, technically main character. In the game, Hero's Duty, she's um, a very strong female protagonist, and she works very well with the whole Hero's Duty. Well, she she just uh, she works well with that game, and you can tell that she's had a bad back. Uh, she's had a tough life trying to fight off the cybugs, which are kind of like um, the, uh, kind of like a swarm of evil monsters that are kind of like viruses, really. But uh, she's real, and she and she does get some good lines. Kind of like um, she gets the good lines when she's trying to make something serious that's so absurd. And now let's talk about probably the saddest character in the movie, but still gets some of the best lines. Vanellope or Penelope. They pronounce it weirdly in the film. Sometimes they call it Vanellope, sometimes they call it Penelope. I'm not sure. And it's, um, she's really, you will feel for her. She's kind of like this glitch character in her game, and nobody thinks that she was even supposed to exist. And it just, it gets really sad sometimes, just like, Oh God! Stop it! I'm crying! I'm crying! And Sarah Silverman, I think it's yeah, Sarah Silverman did a fantastic job at her voice. Actually, I'd like to give credit to John C. Riley, Sarah Silverman, and all the all every voice act, uh, actor. I haven't done this, but every voice actor in this film does it really well, from the cameos to the main characters. Fantastic voice acting. But yeah, you'll feel for Vanellope. She's just like, oh god, that's the, she doesn't have any friends, she's an outcast, she has to live in a bon an unfinished bonus level. It's quite sad, really. So yeah, uh, and there's also the main villain, King Candy. I'm not going to say much or I'm probably going to spoil the whole reveal in it. There's kind of like this weird giant plot twist in the middle, uh, in near the end, and uh, about him. And I can't say anything. I'm, all I'm going to say is, I think the Mad Hatter 
that's eaten so much sweets that he has become evil because he ate so much sweets. So much sweets. So many sweets. Saying things wrong should not do it. And this, and that's all I can say about this film. This is a fantastic film. I recommend you go see it if you are A, a fan of video games, new or old. B, a fan of animation. C, fan of films. B, a fan of Disney. A fan! I recommend you see it if you like films. It, even if you're not a fan of video games, like, at all. You're not going to get all the jokes, but you're still going to love the film just for the characters and the candy joke. The candy. Why am I saying candy? I'm Amer I'm not American. Sweet jokes. So I give Wreck-It Ralph a 10 out of 10. This is the perfect... Uh, this is... This is just amazing, this film, and you Americans are lucky because us English just got in. That's the only reason this. Probably all the Americans are going, why is this review lack? That was such a bad. I'm not going to do an accent. Why is this review so late? Rick and Ralph was in October, not for us. It just came out a few days. Um, a few weeks ago, and I only saw it kind of like two weeks ago anyway. So, yes. Um, go see it. I don't know if it's still in the cinema, but if it is, go see it now. Drop everything. Just drop everything. If you're holding anything, drop it. But yeah, that's the end of review week. I have hoped you enjoyed it, and I'll see you tomorrow, actually, for review week. Um, you're prob and re not review. It's not review week. Let's play week to balance everything out. It's going to be Minecraft Monday, Portal Tuesday, and Wednesday, Spore, Spore Thursday, Minecraft Friday, Portal 2 Saturday, and Spore Sunday. Keep that in your minds. If I get something wrong, just tell me in the comments. Okay, guys. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Go see Wreck-It Ralph if you can. And I'll see you guys later. Goodbye! Oh, and I almost forgot the question of the week. The question of the... not the week. The question of the review is if you could go on an adventure with any video game character, what would the adventure be? Who would the character be? And why? Comment to put put that in the comments, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye. I'm gonna wreck it.